Now, can a new type of building block help kickstart the economy in the Gaza Strip? One young Palestinian engineer thinks it can. She's invented something she's called green cake. Richard Kenny from BBC World Hacks went to meet her. This is Majd Masharawi. She grew up in Gaza, where wars with Israel have led to widespread destruction. In 2008 war, our house was partially destroyed. And when I went back, I didn't know, oh, where is my box? Where is my things? And I was crying. After studying engineering, she decided she wanted to help rebuild Gaza. I was thinking, like, how can we make light blocks and affordable blocks? Her big idea? Green cake, a building block made from what was all around her. It's called a green cake because it's environmentally friendly building blocks made mainly of something that's supposed to go to trash. We call it cake because it has lots of voids inside, which made it lighter than the ordinary blocks. The name is not, is not that serious, and people many times said I have to change it, but I said no. Normally, concrete blocks are made from cement, sand, and gravel. But that all has to come from Israel, which tightly restricts imports on security grounds. But green cake is made of a small amount of imported cement, plus rubble and ash. The ash comes from local restaurants and factories and used to go to landfill, contaminating Gaza's groundwater. Green cake is made in a local factory, providing much needed jobs when they've got power. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the electricity cut off. <laughs> always, always it happens. <laughs> but green cake is starting to be seen around Gaza. We are really very happy and the blood of this wall. I'm in the last level uh, in my building structure. It's not good to make the last level heavy. It's like a football man. For Majd, it's about more than just building blocks. It's the future I, li I really want to show to people outside. I'll tell them, listen, we are not victims. We can do lots of things if we will have the opportunity to do it.